It's officially been one year since the Creator True program came out, so I told you guys to ask me some questions for a video. Oh, and all the questions that I've already answered before, like the ones that you see on the screen right now, I will not be answering again. So I recommend watching my previous finger painter videos to learn more about the program itself, where I go more in detail. So let's start off with the first one. Do you wish you got it sooner? or do you wish it never existed? I wish I had it sooner, mostly because I was getting impersonated a lot, and some people even believed the impersonators. So thankfully, now I have the badge to prove that I'm real. So again, if you ever see someone pretending to be me in the game, ask them to show you the badge, and don't listen to any excuses they have, because I will always show my badge no matter what. And if I don't, then it's not me. Do you get any info about updates or anything before they come out? Unfortunately, no we don't. At least not at the time that I'm recording this video. I really wish we got early access to updates as it would help me make higher quality update videos. Some of you don't even know, but every time there's a new update, I have to rush and get my video up as soon as possible so you guys can watch it. And unfortunately, because of how rushed the videos are, it sometimes lacks quality or I miss things in the update which is just very annoying. So I really hope we're gonna get early access to updates soon. Has there been any challenging things about having Finger Painter? Um, not that I can think of. If you don't post enough content and you don't earn five content points every month, you might end up losing your badge. So that might be stressful to some people, but because of how often I upload, I don't really have to worry about it that much. Do you think the Finger Painter badge will ever be replaced or changed into a custom cosmetic for each individual creator? Or do you think that's too much work? Well, as much as I would love something like that, I don't think it will ever happen. It's so much work for the developers to make individual badges. And what if someone stops being a finger painter? What happens to their cosmetic? Are they just going to delete it? What's the best part about being a finger painter? I mean, the badge itself obviously. That's basically one of the main reasons I joined this program. I didn't like being impersonated. Who does anyway? How does it feel to be a finger painter? Yeah, it's alright. How many finger painters are there? And what are the questions to be a finger painter? I'm only gonna answer the first question since I've already answered the second one in a different video, but there's currently 33 finger painters in the program. What is the funniest reaction someone has ever had for someone seeing finger painter? Oh, there's a lot of videos that I could play right now, and I don't think I have a favorite. <laughs> How did you feel when you got it? Fun story, I don't think I told this to anyone yet. I was actually on a holiday with a friend in London, and one evening, I checked my email like I always do, and something told me to check my spam folder, so I did. And I found my acceptance email there. I thought it was fake at first, but after looking closely, it came from ValVR, which is the company that runs the program. Many people think Lemming runs the program for some reason, but no, he's not even involved in the team. And he's not even in the finger painted Discord server. Anyways, I didn't join the Discord server until after I came back from London, so I was actually the 8th finger painter ever. I only told one person that I got in, and it was Boda, who was a stick at the time. And not many people know, but Boda was actually one of my first friends in the Gorilla Tech community. If you went into a public lobby, does everyone go crazy every time? Well, let's try it out. Okay, hi. Hi. What's up? Will smaller content creators be chosen soon? Um, well, that's not something I get to decide. It's up to the people who run the program. All I know is that the subscriber count doesn't really matter. It's more about the quality of your content. But if your quality is good, you will grow. How many subs do you think a creator should have before applying? I'm gonna say that the subscriber count doesn't really matter. What matters is the quality of your videos. If you have good quality videos, then you should apply. And obviously, if you have good quality videos, you will also notice that your subscriber count is actually going up, but it's very tough at the start. I think getting your first thousand subscribers is probably the hardest challenge ever. But after that, it gets easier. How many finger painters are there now? And is the cosmetic as rare as it used to be? So like I said earlier, there's 33 finger painters right now. And to answer your second question, I still don't understand why people act like the badge is a collectible. It's not about it being rare or not. It's about being able to prove if you're the real content creator or not. I know that I speak for many other people when I say that we don't care about the rarity of the badge. We just want to be able to prove that we are the real deal. How do you feel about the creator program accepting a lot of people? Do you do you think they should open the application for every other month rather than every month? Uh, what? Are we talking about the same creator program here? Because this year alone, they've accepted like less than 10 people. That's less than 10 people in 4 months. I don't think that's a lot. And some people think they accept 10 people every single month. No, they don't. They accept up to 10 people. 
keyword up to 10 people. So it can be zero. Do you have to put a disguise on when you go in public lobbies? It depends what I'm doing. Sometimes I do, but sometimes I also enjoy meeting people. What do you think the next creator troop tier will be? Very good question. I can't think of a creative name like the finger painter. Actually, yes I can. What if tier two will be the toe painter? Uh, I don't know. My cousin Kiwi suggested that. He's weird. Me? I definitely hate toes. Have you ever forgot to take off the badge before going into a public lobby? Ha, <laughs> yes I did. I was trying to record something else and then I realized I have the badge on. I'll show you the clip. I forgot to go in disguise. Do you feel lucky that you got the badge first? Yeah, sure. I'm happy and honored that they picked me in the first wave of finger painters. I wasn't even planning on applying the second time. How does it feel to be famous with a rare badge? I wouldn't really consider myself famous. To me, someone famous would be an A-list celebrity like Billie Eilish, Justin Bieber, Nicki Minaj, and all those people. But that's just my definition of famous. Those of you that only follow me on YouTube, you may not even know that I actually have four times more followers on TikTok. And I used to be one of the biggest TikTokers in Iceland, even hosting a meet and greet in the biggest mall in the country where over 300 people showed up. And that was a lot of fun, but very exhausting. Do you regret becoming famous? Is it too much to handle? Same with this one, I don't consider myself famous, but I guess as a content creator with a decent sized following, it can definitely be hard sometimes. Obviously you guys only see about 2% of my life, and it's only VR content. I always try to respond to comments and watch videos you guys tag me in, and I'm always happy to chat on Discord. If you haven't joined my Discord, you definitely should because I'm quite active there. Unfortunately, I won't be able to join your lobby, otherwise it will be unfair to everyone else, and I don't have much free time to join everyone's lobby. Why did you apply for the finger painter? Someone left a comment right underneath yours that basically answers the question. It's better if you get finger painters and nobody can try to impersonate you. Yes, exactly. Am I able to get finger painter? Well, I don't know. Most people are able to. Watch my other finger painter videos where I go more in depth on the application process and you'll find out. Do you like pancakes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you think too many people have it? It was so people don't get impersonated. There are so many finger painters that lots of people have never heard of. Some people with only about 1,000 followers have it. Wait, what? Nobody with 1,000 followers has the finger painter badge. And if they do, then it's not their main platform. Maybe they have a bigger following on TikTok or Twitch or whatever. I think the person with the least amount of followers in the program it's 15k. How many subscribers would you possibly need for it? And also views because I've been struggling with my shorts. So the creator troop says there's no subscriber requirement, but I'm pretty sure the more subscribers you have, the better your chances because there's more possibility of you getting impersonated. Do people freak out when they see the finger painter? And if so, do you like getting big reactions or does it get annoying? Yep, they usually freak out and it never gets annoying. It's actually funny. If it was annoying, I would probably never put the finger painter badge on. Who had the least content points this year? That's a good question, but since there's no leaderboard in the program, the only way for me to find out would be to go through all 33 creators profiles and calculate all their points and I definitely don't have the time for that. But there are some people that have basically stopped uploading. I'm sure you can figure it out yourself. Or just look in the comments. I'm sure someone's gonna comment the names. Who do you think should get finger painter next? Um, I don't know because I don't watch other Gorilla Tech YouTubers. Every now and then I'll watch a canine video, but that's about it. When will you talk about ghosts again? I'm working on a ghost video right now. I would be posting more of them, but the last few I made didn't perform so well, so I thought people just got bored of them. Can you get it took away? Yes and some people have gotten their badge taken away. And for a good reason too. Do you like trolling people with the finger painter badge? Yeah, sometimes I like to joke around. Is it rigged? I have always wondered. So a lot of people ask this and I don't think it is. People say the creator troop program lied about accepting smaller content creators. But if you really think about it, how small is small? 100 subscribers? 1000 subscribers? 10,000 subscribers? You most likely won't get impersonated with 1000 subscribers. Now 10,000 subscribers is kind of where it starts. Now I for sure believe there is still a possibility of getting impersonated earlier than that. However, think about this, okay? YouTube will only give you a verification badge when you have 100,000 or more subscribers. So it's very easy to get impersonated if you have less than 100k. Is it rigged? 
you tell me. Is it true that Creator Troop members get 20% off Taco Bells on Tuesdays? Yeah, but it's only on Tuesdays because of Taco Tuesday. And that is everything for today. If you have enjoyed and you want me to do more of these, just comment, subscribe, and like the video.